After yesterday's weather led to severe thunderstorm and tornado warnings for several eastern Carolina counties, the National Weather Service headed out to Martin County to look at damage. Amrachi Uche tagged along as they tried to determine what hit the county and talked to people about who are living there about what they saw. She joins us live now from Martin County with more details. Amrachi. Yeah, Courtney, while following the National Weather Service, some minor damage like this tree you see right here was surveyed. Now, as we're a few days away from hurricane season, meteorologists say it's important to stay ready and alert. Monday, Martin County was one of many counties put under both severe thunderstorm and tornado warnings. At first, it just kind of sounded like a like really bad thunderstorm. And then another tornado warning actually came. Residents saw heavy rain, lightning, and hail. Carson Williams says she was coming back from Virginia when she saw dark circling clouds. I felt scared and I felt like nervous. Because of those storms, the National Weather Service surveyed the area Tuesday and collected data on the damage. Based on the amount of damage and the patterns, they are able to calculate the severity of the storm and its path. And that will help us determine whether or not we had a tornado here in Martin County, straight line winds, or if we don't find damage, maybe a tornado did not happen. According to Hayden, there was minor damage around the county with small branches along the road or tin that was lifted from a building. With the severe weather season continuing, Hayden says severe thunderstorms can happen at any time, so it's important to be prepared. Having a way to get those warnings is really important. If you have a cell phone, making sure those are not turned on, do not disturb, uh, they'll alert you at night. And then having something battery powered if the, radio, if the uh, power goes out. So you're ready when the next storm rolls in. Now, though the only minor damage could be seen, Hayden says the county is heavily wooded area, so there could be more damage that can't be seen unless they have a drone. Reporting live in Martin County, I'm Marachi Uche, WITN News. All right, thanks, Amarachi. And Hayden says the survey started in Martin County and then they headed east across the county line to Washington. They are now heading back to their office to make a final report.